So the question goes, should I pick chrome or black? Chrome or black? Hmm. I think I like the black better. What's going on everyone? Uh, so this is part three of the three part series on rebadging my vehicle. Part one was doing the rear um, Audi rings. Um, part two was the uh, SQ7 and the APR badging. And this is part three, which is gonna be the front Audi rings and replacing those. Um, as, uh, as I kind of stated before in the post editing process, I realized the videos were getting really long if you kind of combined them all together. So I just decided to kind of uh, um, break them up into three different parts um, makes a lot of sense just because you might be just looking for maybe the front rings or the rear rings or whatever so anyway I hope you enjoy the video and uh, let's get into it so the last part of this improvement that I'm doing is going to be um, the front uh, badging and lettering I'm still going to try to figure out how this comes off maybe in a different video um, to get the new uh, letters on here I think this is all molded together but if I can peel these guys off I want to put the other ones just in the factory location because I'm not a huge fan of the clamps that come with the kit to replace these. But right now I'm going to focus on the Audi symbols. Um, anybody that knows me knows I'm very indecisive. So what I ended up doing is I got two different versions. I have the gloss and then I also have the matte version. Um, I think that there's a lot of matte that's in here and I need to contrast it with the gloss. Um, so I'm going to do the gloss uh, Audi symbols. I'm going to show you how to take everything off, pop the new ones in, and we'll be good to go. Hopefully this will be a quick uh, finish to uh, all the badging that I did on the car today. So uh, let's get into it. So as I'm kind of taking a look at how I'm gonna approach to kind of pop this thing off, I have tools, um, which I'll put a link down below or a link above or in this video of how I'm actually taking this off. Um, I have a bunch of different like hard tools that I can kind of pry in there and pop it off. I'm looking at the one that I got as a replacement. I see there's some clips at the top here, so it would be like a clip here, a clip here, so on and so forth. Um, I think if I can find the right way to kind of pry them and pop the clips all the way down, once I get a couple, the rest will uh, pop off. They're, they're kind of like clips that you could probably depress and push in and, and pull the Audi symbol out. So I'm gonna play around with it a little bit to see if I can get it out. Um, so for, first and foremost, I will say that it's actually really hard to pry in there. So, the plastic pry tools did not work, so I have a mini screwdriver here, and I'm going to see if I can uh, fit in between and pop it off that way. Yeah, that seems to be working, but I'm going to ruin the symbol on, on the way off, so hopefully I can get it out. Uh, get it out enough to... Oh man, I may have to do like two. I may have to have one that I pry out, and then I hold, and then I kind of keep this piece from clipping back in, because it's like super tight. What are we going to do here? All right. So that's the magic. You have to get one piece in to pop a piece off. And now they all should start kind of popping on you. Now that I have a little bit of leverage in it. Yeah, see how that just kind of popped out nicely? Yeah, look at that. Once you get one, the rest come out nice. So, um, all right, so the, the technique is to try to go in on the side here, get this clip to come out, and then um, then the whole thing comes off. So <clears throat> there it is. Let's see if it fits. Now, it says it fits. It says it's supposed to fit. Um, I'm hoping the clips align and everything kind of pops in. So uh, here we go. Here's the test of time. That looks to be good. Um, oops, upside down. So that helps directional so those go into these holes so that's uh, good to know that uh, this is a directional fit get those to pop in on the top first get that in that looks good that looks good Let's see if these clips go in that one in Let's see if I can get the bottom ones in now that one in kind of push up a little bit uh maybe 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 kind of sort of Uh, let's put it off for a second. Something's not lining right there. So that goes, okay, so we might start on the bottoms here and then do the tops. Yeah, that's gonna be better because I can actually see what I'm doing on the top here. Whoop, one more time. Bottom, bottom, bottom. These guys go in. 
Oh no, don't break. Please don't break. There we go. There we go. This guy. Oh man, that guy broke. That's not good. So we're gonna get that guy in. This guy in. Like so. This guy go in. All right. So it's on. Upside, it's on, it fits. It's on there super tight, so it's not gonna fall off. But I broke this clip, but luckily there's enough clips on here that it's gonna be good. Um, one thing I will say on this, um, start at the start at the top, but then you gotta work the bottom as well, ones in. There's kind of like a loop clip in there, and you gotta make sure you get underneath it, so you have to go to the bottom part of it and not try to go in the middle. That's how I broke that one. So, but everything else, it's on. I'm always interested in hearing your opinion, so drop a comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more tangents on cars, motorcycles, and trucks. Thanks again for watching.